Why were you mad that Caitlin wants to go to the show? Because it's something that... It's her dad, and she should go to something like that. She doesn't want one person there. Kendall Jenner, the supermodel and member of the Kardashian-Jenner clan, has recently made headlines for calling out her family, particularly her sister Kim Kardashian and mother Kris Jenner, for what she perceives as manipulation in her personal life and relationships. Kendall's decision to speak out about this issue has shed light on the complexities of fame, family dynamics, and maintaining genuine connections. Kendall's journey to supermodel stardom has been marked by her desire to establish herself as a professional independent from her famous family. Over the years, she has walked countless runways, graced numerous magazine covers, and become a sought-after figure in the fashion industry. Despite her immense success, Kendall has occasionally struggled with the intrusion of her family's fame into her personal life. Kendall Jenner has at last opened up about the pressure exerted by Kris Jenner to wed Bad Bunny, all in a bid to sustain the Kardashian family's prominence for inexplicable reasons. The situation is truly astonishing. Kendall stands as the sole Kardashian sister who remains unmarried. However, Mama Jenner does not appear to be accepting of this fact. It appears that Mama Jenner is intent on formalizing Kendall's relationship with Bad Bunny, a relationship that many of their fans perceive as nothing more than a mere publicity stunt. Kendall has recently made it obvious that her mother, Chris, is pushing her toward an engagement. This intention was underscored by a recent episode of The Kardashians, leaving little doubt that Mama Jenner is resolute in her determination to orchestrate Kendall's marriage to Bad Bunny. Yet, what remains unclear is the reason behind Kendall's seeming reluctance to accede to Chris's weighty demands. If Mama Jenner has left no room for doubt, she holds a strong desire for Kendall to start a family. This isn't the first instance of her consistently urging Kendall to tie the knot and embrace parenthood. Regrettably, Kendall isn't quite on board with these plans. Chris has made her wishes public and declared her aspiration for Kendall to be the next Kardashian to welcome a child. It's only natural to imagine Kendall taking on such a role, isn't it? She remains one of the few in the Kardashian fold who hasn't embarked on parenthood. Hold on to your seat for this revelation. Chris has seemingly pushed the boundaries by engaging in a discussion with Bad Bunny himself. Yes, you read that correctly. Chris directly approached Bad Bunny to inquire about his intentions regarding proposing to Kendall. According to an insider source who confided in OK Magazine, this rather surprising conversation occurred quite recently. When Kendall got wind of this development, the ensuing events are quite beyond belief. But let's set that aside for now and delve into the reasons behind Chris's insistence and Kendall's hesitance. Although the rumors of Kendall and Bad Bunny's romantic involvement have only recently started circulating, the details were shrouded in secrecy, until TMZ managed to unearth them at precisely 11.06 p.m. Kendall Jenner gracefully exits the main entrance of Wally's Beverly Hills in solitude. Not long before, Bad Bunny emerges from the rear exit of the same establishment, hinting at the likelihood of their shared presence within. This suggests the presence of the company, and indeed it turns out to have been a celebrity double date. The puzzle pieces fall into place as Justin and Haley Bieber join them for dinner, illuminating the true nature of the occasion. But that's not the end of the intrigue. Unveiling yet another layer to the story, a cryptic blind item hints at a rendezvous involving a club scene just the night prior, with Kendall Jenner and Bad Bunny both making an appearance. Their connection deepens as they are spotted departing in the same vehicle. Interestingly, this very blind item also discloses Bad Bunny's shift into an open relationship, with Kendall's own romantic status soon corroborated by a report from an insider associated with Seventeen magazine. According to this insider, Kendall Jenner had, after her breakup with Devin Booker the previous year, maintained a stance of not actively seeking romantic involvement. Another source privy to the matter reveals that Kendall and Bad Bunny were approaching their dating situation with an air of nonchalance, lacking the intensity of a deeply committed relationship. Subsequently, Kendall and Bad Bunny have made appearances together at numerous locations. For instance, their now famous sushi rendezvous drew attention. Eyewitnesses recounted to various magazines that they had observed the duo sharing a dinner at Sushi Fumi in LA. Reports indicated open displays of affection, with kisses and intimate gestures on full display. But let's shift our focus away from their dating exploits and delve into something rather contentious. 
Amid their series of adventurous outings, a particularly unconventional scene captured fans' attention. Never could anyone have predicted that images of Kendall Jenner and Bad Bunny horseback riding would materialize. Yet, against all odds, this unlikely scenario unfolded. The exclusive pictures, secured by TMZ, showcased Kendall and Bad Bunny engaging in horse riding activities at the Equestrian Center in Hidden Hills on a Sunday. Both took turns astride different horses, and surprisingly, they even shared the experience of riding a single horse together. As evident in these images, Kendall's radiant smile was unmistakable as she captured snapshots of Bad Bunny on horseback. Likewise, his gaze while watching her ride solo showcased a mixture of appreciation and admiration. The U.S. Sun reported that during her time with Bad Bunny, Kendall was evidently determined to shield their romance from public scrutiny. An insider divulged to the U.S. Sun that Kendall and Bad Bunny have been frequenting a plethora of coffee shops, enjoying leisurely brunch dates, and partaking in gatherings at friends' residences in Los Angeles. These shared experiences over recent weeks have ignited a passionate connection between them. However, Kendall has been actively striving to prevent any intrusive paparazzi shots of their togetherness from surfacing. It seems the overwhelming nature of the attention has prompted Kendall to take such precautions. The reasons behind her desire for privacy may become clearer as you consider the following details. During the recent Coachella event, it wasn't only Kendall who turned out to support Bad Bunny. A significant portion of the Kardashian clan, including Chris, Corey, and Kylie, were also in attendance. Observant fans noted the presence of Kendall's family, leading to speculations that Chris was formally endorsing Kendall's relationship with Bad Bunny. Such an act could be interpreted as a public display of approval for their romance. Reportedly, Kendall wasn't particularly inclined to have her entire family accompany her to the event. Their presence, especially Chris's, made her feel quite uneasy. Unfortunately, she found herself in a situation where voicing her discomfort wasn't a straightforward option. Interestingly, Kendall's sentiment resonates with fans who are grappling with the paradox of her attempting to uphold privacy while the media constantly inundated them with pictures and videos of her and Bad Bunny together. This dual narrative is puzzling. On one side, both Kendall and Bad Bunny assert their desire to maintain a private relationship, yet on the other, their romantic journey remains a frequent subject of public updates, with photographs and reports emerging practically every day. In a recent interview with the Wall Street Journal, Kendall touched upon her relationship with Bad Bunny. Initially, she responded with a simple, no comment, but later elaborated, stating, I strive to strike a balance between maintaining privacy and safeguarding what's sacred, all while fending off the unfortunate pressures and stress that arise from everyone's attempts to intrude. Bad Bunny echoes Kendall's sentiment, resonating with her perspective. He summed up, Ultimately, the only thing I possess is my privacy. At this juncture, that's my response. His emphasis was on the importance of preserving their private matters. In this context, he alluded to his desire to keep aspects of his life personal, acknowledging the inevitability of leaks and speculations. Recognizing the extent to which the public believes they know everything about him, he highlighted the significance of safeguarding his personal life. Addressing the query of why Kendall's attempts at privacy appeared at odds with the consistent appearance of her dates and outings in news headlines, fans have suggested a possible explanation. Allegedly, Chris has been devoting substantial effort to ensure that Kendall's dating life maintains a prominent position in tabloids and media coverage. However, the drama doesn't conclude there. While it's true that Bad Bunny and Kendall are growing closer, no definitive indicators point toward an imminent wedding or even an engagement. Based on insights from a source closely connected to Kendall, there are presently no intentions for marriage on her horizon. She's resolute in her determination to wait until she's absolutely certain she's found the right partner. Kendall's approach to life decisions has always been characterized by careful consideration, and she's determined not to enter matrimony for the sake of publicity or due to external pressure. Kendall's stance on starting a family also aligns with her current priorities, and she has conveyed this in several instances. In a recent episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Chris took everyone by surprise by candidly urging Kendall to consider having a baby soon. Chris even discussed the possibility of freezing Kendall's eggs with her OBGYN, implying that the time might be right for motherhood. Despite Chris's insistence, Kendall remained steadfast in asserting her autonomy. Kendall's assertiveness came to the forefront as she confronted Chris, making it unequivocally clear that the decisions about her life were hers alone to make. 
No matter how persistent Chris's desires might be, Kendall was unwavering in her resolve, standing up for herself and firmly asserting that she alone held the reins to her life choices. Allegedly, when Chris's orchestrated plans did not yield the desired outcome, she took a more direct approach. Reportedly, she engaged with Bad Bunny personally, urging him to expedite his proposal to Kendall. This sequence of events highlights the disparities between Kendall's personal journey and Chris's aspirations for her romantic path. Chris's involvement even extended to her requesting a definitive timeline. Understandably, Kendall eventually became privy to this unfolding situation. According to an insider who recently shared insights with OK Magazine, Kendall's reaction was one of discomfort and exasperation. She confronted Chris about the matter, prompting Chris to pledge to withdraw her interference. Kendall's concerns stemmed from a fear that Chris's actions could potentially disrupt her blossoming relationship with Bad Bunny. Kendall expressed contentment with the current state of her relationship and voiced her apprehensions about Chris's attempts to apply pressure. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.